Hello, my fellow lions. It's been a while since we talked about Lions Quest, but here in Lawrence County, Alabama, where we started the Juvenile Justice Lions Quest program a year ago, we've graduated 60 young people, students, through the program in the last year. None of them have picked up a new charge. All of them have made progress for their grades and all of them are very appreciative of the fact that lions have embraced them to help them to get their community service. Lions Quest is owned by Lions Clubs International Foundation. It's our tool to reach the world and serve our community. Can you think of a greater need in our community than our youth and our families and our juvenile courts? Would lions embrace the real need in our community, the need to encourage people, the need to give our youth an opportunity to find greater success, then we must find a way to bring Lions Quest curriculum into our schools, into our court systems, into our foster care systems, into our after-school programs, in our alternative schools. You see, this year, over 700,000 children will stand before a judge to be adjudicated on a delinquent matter. In the adult world, it would be a crime. In the juvenile vocabulary, it's a delinquency. 700,000 children that we, in, con in conjunction with our foundation, Lions Clubs International, foundation can change. We can put them in the middle of the road. It's a personal commitment of mine, and I'm asking you to join me in finding a way to help the youth of your community. Lions, liberty, intelligence, our nation's safety, or lions in our neighborhood schools. Whatever that you want to call it is fine with me, as long as we get out there and serve like we've never served before, because truly that was the vision of our founder, Melvin Jones.